Today on Toy Shoes, we're headed back to Neo Gotham for some new Batman Beyond action. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys Target exclusive. This is their DC Multiverse Deluxe Batwoman Beyond action figure, the third figure in the year long collect build Batman Futures and Figure Wave. Standard deluxe packaging, really nice on the sides, on the back. You get to see all the different pieces, and like I said, yes, this is finally the third set of pieces. So we got some legs for this guy. Blight, it will be the fourth figure, and he should be hitting uh, hopefully around November, December. And here's the barcode as well. She is starting to hit Target stores now. If you're not familiar with Batwoman Beyond, it's a comic book thing. She was never a character in the animated series. The basic story is that Terry McGinnis, he gets amnesia, as one does, and she steals the bat suit. Stop me if you heard this before. And Blight comes back, and Joker comes back. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I remember Bruce Timm saying, with for Batman Beyond, you know, oh, we're not going to do Catwoman Beyond, and Scarecrow Beyond, and all those characters, because it would just be dumb. <laughs> well... Now it is. Just saying. And get this to top it all off. This is Elena Grayson, the daughter of Dick Grayson. So they all keep it in the family, right? <laughs> she also at some point gets a blue costume for Batwoman Beyond, a la Dick Grayson. So with all the different variants and such, like they did for Shriek and Batman Beyond himself, I would not be surprised later down the road we might get a blue version of the costume. And <laughs> this is just... The funniest thing to me. Can you guess who Dick Grayson is in this scene? He's still wearing Nightwing. To, hey, come on, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Just do Batman Beyond Standard stuff. It's a lot better that way. This is Bruce Tim. He was on to something. Don't don't go too far with the whole Beyond element, right? So this is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot Neo Gotham cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Collectibild Batman Futures and Joker Bot. Figure 3 of 4, The Batwoman Beyond, by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here's Elena Grayson out of the packaging, and she comes with a bevy of accessories, and you do get a very cool-looking Batwoman Beyond. Catch me if I say Batman Beyond any of this. It's coming, I guarantee you, in that sense. But you do get some joker bot legs finally and is it just me or is the batman who laughs right on the kneecap i don't know <laughs> it's kind of weird right but yes really sturdy knees not a whole lot of paint going on but you can go ahead and grab your pre-made joker bot figure if you've gotten shriek and batman beyond so far and pop on the legs and bingo bango yeah i mean he's shaping up to be an interesting figure very tall figure we're just needing blight to get those weird I don't know, wings or whatever they are. It's a weird storyline. I'm not gonna lie. You do get some really cool Batman Beyond, um, excuse me, Batwoman Beyond Batarangs. She stole the suit. I mean, it's still his, technically. You know what I mean? But you do get some, we'll say, the trigger holding hands, but they hold the Batarang pretty stylistically. I, I dig that. And you got some female claw hands. And then you get a DC Multiverse stand, of course. And then you get a very Venom eyes <laughs> Batwoman. Beyond figures. She's got the big red hair going on. She's got the big Batman symbol. She's got the belts. Everything else. It's basically Terry's suit, right? But just some few augmentations here and there. I really like this. It looks like motorcycle leather in some cases. It's actually pretty well done. However, I'm going to tell you, with the hair, it'll get kind of muddled when you have this giant backpackish sort of thing on the back for her wings. The wings... Once again, do not come off. If you've seen my other Batman Beyond videos, yes, you can take the wings off. It's very simple. Just go ahead and heat them up. So I'll show you. It's got the same situation. It's the same wings, and you just kind of clip her little notches, things right in there, and put her arms up, put her arms down, and they just kind of hook in there. It's not my favorite. It's a weird design issue, but let's go ahead and heat her up and get the wings off her. Five minutes later. Now... That was easy, right? Just pops right off. Again, just dunk her in hot water for about 30 seconds and they pop right off. For me, I don't care about the hole in her back because you're looking at her from the front in most cases. You get better mobility with the neck, the hair, it's all one piece, so it kind of gets muddled when you got the wings 
and everything else going on. But as you can see, the hair is going to move with you, but you do get a lot of rotation out of it. She can look up, she can look down, you can get her all those flying poses, you can get dramatic poses looking down, she's brooding. She's got some butterfly joints. She's got some pretty good articulation. I'll definitely give it to her on that. I like her shoulder pads. It just makes the suit look a little bit different. More tactile for her, for the woman body type as opposed to Terry. So I'm glad that it looks a little bit different. Arms go all the way up. She's got double jointed elbows and she's got some nice wrist articulation as well. Those ball joints are hidden a little bit better. She's got some really nice ab rotation, ab crunch, upper diaphragm, waist. She can go back pretty far. That's pretty cool. And yeah, she'll go forward. She'll spin at the waist. I like the way that they chose to do the Batman Beyond symbol. That way you don't have one piece going one way, one going the other. Legs kick out. There's no thigh cut, but they do kind of spin at the thigh. You can see on the backside with her butt right here, traditionally kind of not move around because of that piece, it's now rubber, so you do get some more mobility out of it. She's got double jointed knees, and again, I really like the calf look of this. I'm not a big fan of this little flap right here. I understand, you know, you got to make it so that she has articulation, feet, toe articulation. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the articulation itself. Minus the wings. When you put the wings on, if they are attached, unlike taking them off and then putting them on. Now the basic thing is I just flip the wings and that way you can pose her and take the wings off easy peasy and you don't have to worry about them being attached to her 24 seven. Yeah, you get this little notch right here, but the hair works better with it and everything else. So you can move around and make it work and put her into some really cool poses. Get a flight stand going, one that's come from other McFarlane toys. She photographs well. You're dealing with a black, red, and white figure for the most part. Yeah, she's going to definitely be cool, but it really hits hard with that whole Batman Beyond Neo Gotham sort of look. Now, the one thing I will say is that she's a little bit bigger than Terry, even with the ears and everything else. She's just a smidge taller, and with those shoulder pads, she looks more built than he is, you know what I mean? And I do like that they kept it separate looks for the Batman Beyond suit. So it does look good, but yeah, she's just a smidge taller than he is. However, Shriek is taller than her, and I think that that works. Maybe not in the sense of the cartoon, but hey, we're doing comic books mainly for this line. And like father, like daughter, you got Dick Grayson, who, yes, actually is taller than Elena here. So that definitely works. Maybe we'll get a Dick Grayson beyond one day. Nah, yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> and then the Joker bot, which again, like I said, he's a giant figure. So really liking the way this is panning out. It's creepy looking. It's weird. If you don't know the story behind that, once I have Blight in hand in a month or two, I'll go over all that and we'll look at the figure more in depth. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Batwoman Beyond from the Target exclusive collectible Joker bot wave. She is a good figure. She's not, wow, mind blowing. Oh my God. Essentially, you're getting the same thing again. It's Batman Beyond as a woman, same wings, same exact wings, same exact setup where they clip in. I do like that she comes with the traditional batarangs. That is very cool to see. And of course, yeah, you get pieces for the Joker bot. The extra hands are nice. I would say a couple nitpicks here and there just with the wings again, but not to beat a dead horse. It's not my favorite design, but I'm so glad that you can remove them and take them off and do whatever you want to do in that sense. I think you're going to enjoy her if you're a Batman Beyond fan. She's not exactly a character from the cartoon, but if you're staying up with DC Comics, Future's End, if you're a fan of that storyline, although I don't know why, <laughs> yeah, I would say that you'll probably dig her. And I am really looking forward to to Blight. And like I said, maybe we'll see a blue version of her later on. Maybe we'll get the suited version of Blight too. It just all remains to be seen. But in either case, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batwoman Beyond. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, see, I would have originally thought that this was Max from the cartoon. But then I'm glad that it's not Max because Max was a cool character and every everybody's going beyond there's a cat woman beyond just fyi and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios